माई सेल्फ सृजन बैनर्जी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग ऑफ घाटगी मेमोरियल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कोलकाता टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट बैकलेस नॉन लिनियरिटी बैकलेस नॉन लिनियरिटी इज अ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट नॉन लिनियर प्रॉपर्टीज इट मेनली ऑकर इन द फिजिकल सिस्टेम उथ हिस्टेरिस इन मेकानिकल ट्रांसमिशन सच एस गियर ट्रेन and linkages this non linearity is different from magnetic hysteresis backlash in fact is the play between the teeth of the drive gear and those of the driven gear if we consider a gear box shown in figure a having backlash as illustrated in figure b figure b shows the teeth a of the driven gear located meet way between b1 and b2 of the driven gear figure c gives the relationship between input and output motions as the teeth a is driven clockwise from this position no output motion takes place until the tooth a makes contact with the tooth b1 of the driven gear after traveling a distance of x2 this output motion corresponds to the segment mn of figure c and after the contact is made the driven gear rotates counter clockwise through the same angle as the driven gear when the gear ratio is assumed to be unity as the input motion is reversed the contact between the teeth a and b1 is less and the driven gear immediately becomes stationary based on the assumption that the load is friction controlled with the negligible inertia the output motion therefore causes till tooth a has traveled a distance x in the reverse direction as shown in figure c by the segment op after the tooth a establish contact with the tooth b2 the driven gear now moves in a clockwise direction as shown by segment pq as the input motion so is this reversed is the, the direction gear characteristic is again of backlash nonlinearity for the segment in QR. this nonlinear properties then can see follows the driven gear nonlinear along r n showing the hysteresis phenomenon in its characteristics curve so if we assume that input function xt is equal to x sin omega t then the output of the nonlinear function is yt is equal to x minus b by 2 when the limit is from 0 to pi by 2 the function yt is equal to capital x minus b by 2 when the limit is pi by 2 to pi minus beta yt the output function yt is equal to x plus b by 2 when the limit is pi minus beta to 3 pi by 2 and yt is equal to minus x plus b by 2 is when the limit is 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi mi- minus beta and the finally yt is equal to small x minus b by 2 when the limit is 2 pi minus beta to 2 pi in this equations we can see that the small x is equal to capital x sin omega t and x capital x is the amplitude of that sinusoidal wave and beta is 
साइन इनवर्स वन माइनस बी बाई एक्स फॉर दिस केस वी नो दैट द टी सी कम्पोनेंट ए जिरो इज इक्वल टू जिरो इफ उ ब्रेक डाउन दिस टोटल फांगशन और टोटल सिगनल बै फूरियर एक्सप्रेशन एंड द फांडामेंटल कम्पोनेंट ए एन एंड बी एन उल जस्ट प्रेजेंट इन दिस सिसटेम For backlash nonlinearity, we can see that odd harmonics and even harmonics both are present in the system. So, for this case, we just taking the first harmonics or first fundamental components to get the Fourier expression or the equation of this system. For that, we just consider a one is equal to one by pi. integration 0 to 2 pi y sin omega t d omega t that is is equal to 2 by pi integration 0 to pi x sin omega t minus b by 2 sin omega t d omega t plus integration pi by 2 2 pi minus beta into x minus b by 2 sin omega t d omega t plus pi minus beta integration pi x sin beta minus b by 2 into sin omega t d omega t so basically we just consider this equation the first equation and we uh, break the limit from 0 to pi and finally we get the value that is x divided by pi into pi by 2 plus beta plus half sin 2 beta and the another component will be bn that is equal to the first component of that is b1 is equal to 1 by pi integration 0 to 2 pi y cos omega t d omega t that is is equal to 0 to pi x sin omega t instead of y we can write x sin omega t minus b by 2 for the limit of 0 to pi into cos omega t d omega t plus for the limiting value of alpha 2 pi minus beta x minus b by 2 is the value of y into cos omega t d omega t and plus for the limit of pi minus beta to pi x sin omega t plus b by 2 into cos omega t d omega t so if we put the limit value and take the integration then we got the final value that is minus x by pi cos square beta so as we know that the describing function is output function by input function so for this case we are getting the describing function x n omega where n is the magnitude of the describing function and omega is the angle of that describing functions if the value is greater than b by 2 then we can uh, write the equation describing function the magnitude is square root of a1 by x whole square plus b1 by x whole square and the angle omega is equal to tan inverse of b by a so if we put the value of a1 and b1 then we find that the magnitude will be 1 by pi into pi by 2 plus beta plus half sin 2 beta whole square plus 1 by pi minus of 1 by pi cos square beta whole square and the angle is tan inverse of b by a so after that if we go for the practical evaluation or practical observation then we have to go for the block diagram approaches here you can see that the block diagram is given here in the block diagram there will be some 
blocks that is sine wave sinusoidal wave as source summing block the nonlinear block of backlash and the transfer function of the system here we assume the transfer function of the system is 1 divided by s plus 5 you can take any other thing also transfer function and the output channel or output block is scope and here is another thing that is called multiplexer or marks which is just um, collecting the signals all signals and it transferred that signals all the signals to the output block so if we if you draw this block diagram in the MATLAB simulink then you can easily observe the system characteristics or you can observe the system characteristics